Pato John Madden in El Damiante, Diamante, Mexico. Walking down a little side street up where you see the white truck. That's the main street. That's where big trucks come rolling through and they make it way too noisy to videotape. But I'm going to try to do a little videotape before I get down there. Uh, I just had a really sweet experience with a guy, maybe a little younger than me. I bet he's 60s something. And uh, I was sitting on the curb on a side street that gets no traffic. And he uh, immediately stepped off the sidewalk that I was sitting on to walk out in the street to indicate, you no, know, don't bother to clear your stuff out of the way. And he uh, stopped and uh, chatted. And I've got enough Spanish in certain situations now that that kind of thing can go really quite well. Uh, and they sat on the curb with me. Uh, and it reminded me of when I lived out, in the first time I lived out in the country outside of Asheville, North Carolina in Appalachia in the Blue Ridge Mountains. My landlord, who was a really great guy, and he taught me that good old boy could mean really a good person. Solid, not a redneck, but uh, somebody you can trust. And, but he taught me the expression, I, I had heard it before, it's classic out there. You ain't from here, is ya? And there was, a, there was a note of suspicion in it. Like, who, what are you up to? Uh, and when I lived, when I spent a full year out in that part of the world, uh, I found that Appalachian folks, as soon as they realized you weren't going to judge them, as soon as they realized you weren't going to judge them, they didn't judge you. Uh, and they were extraordinarily open and unguarded, really would show up in beautiful ways. Uh, my experience is that people in this area have been really sweet to me, really curious, always want to know where you're from, where you're going, why are you here. And it's, I'm sure it's partly because this is an area of Mexico along the Pacific, along the Gulf Coast, uh, from Matamoros down to Veracruz, where tourists don't come. If they're going to Veracruz, they'll fly or take a cruise there. They don't drive through this part of the country. So these people do not have experience with American tourists. And it may have, it may be playing really well for me because they're curious and they haven't been ruined by how many gringo tourists are truly ignorant and not attempting to learn about what's true and, and how, to, how to speak the language. They love it that I'm trying. They love it that I'm trying. Uh, so God bless them. And it's windy today. They're not used to wind around here. They're only about a mile away from the ocean, but they're not used to wind, uh, which is really interesting to me. This part of the Gulf Coast, well, a mile away from the ocean, but uh, it's kind of nice today to have it this way. Now, maybe I can sit down here. I want to make a longer tape, but not in the wind. So let's see if I can find a spot down here. Okay.